All right. Hi, everybody. I'm George Cow, and I'm really uh, happy and honored to be here with Tad Hargrave. Um, hopefully, you all know him. Those of you who don't know him uh, should, well, uh, you know, you'll get an intro, intro today. And his website is marketingforhippies.com. We've known each other, Tad, I think for 10 years or something, something crazy like that. And I'm so grateful we've remained friends. Um, Tad has helped me out so much over the years. I've, I've just returned the favor a little bit over the years <laughs> whenever I can. And I'm just grateful to be able to at least help him to share about the launch of his membership community. This is a long time coming. A lot of people have been wondering when Tad is gonna you know, share this because he has so much great content on his website, marketingforhippies.com, just like it sounds, spell it out. And marketingforhippies.com, he has so much great content. He has um, a bunch of great eBooks, um, online courses, a bunch of other kind of sessions, group sessions. And he just does a really good job of responding to people's questions when, uh, when he's able to. And now with this membership community, he's gonna focus on really helping the people in that community to figure out their niche, to grow their audience, to you know build a, a business that they really love. But Tad, I feel like I could probably go on and you could just sit here the whole time. <laughs> but, but I wanna, uh, I wanna just um, have you share, well, well, I'll just maybe the question I'll ask you is this, um, what do you think people are gonna uh, get the most? Well, there's so many elements to this membership program. But what's one thing that you're really excited for people to experience in the program? Well, honestly, I do. Th I think there's going to be a lot of uh, kinship and kindred spirits in this community. I think there are going to be a lot of collaborations. Yeah, who, who is it for? Maybe we'll start there. Well, you know, hippies and business. But I would say if we, in general categories, we're looking at a lot of life coaches, uh, healers, holistic practitioners, permaculture people, maybe some farmers, crafters, people who are trying to... Uh, do something about the troubles of the times in a way that can sustain them and uh, have, have opted for the, um, the maybe, maybe reckless move of, of becoming an entrepreneur. You know, the, as the old joke goes, entrepreneur, it's a French word. I don't know if you know the, the etymology of it. It means failure. The, uh, <laughs> I didn't know that, but it, it makes a lot of sense. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's a, uh, but it's a struggle. It's so hard to be an entrepreneur. And, and I think a lot of people, especially if you have a, a, a romantic partner or spouse, they're just so tired of hearing about your business. And, and there isn't that sense of community where else you can go to, to talk about it. So I imagine that's going to be a big part of it. But the other side of it is that um, I know there are a lot of people who, who resonate with what I have to say. But, and want to go deeper, but you know, it's, I don't know, watching random YouTube videos here and there, or reading a blog post here or there, it's, I, I'm sure it's useful. And the, the struggle for me and or the big draw to finally do a membership program was, I, at least from the sort of educational side of it was, even though I can create playlists in YouTube and I can categorize my blogs, I can't turn them into a course there just isn't the infrastructure i mean if, if i could do it for free i i, I might have uh, even, even though if that wasn't good for me business wise i might have but i just there, there wasn't that infrastructure number one and so the chance to be able to put this together where each thing has a particular goal you know at the end of this you'll have a rough kind of home page rough draft of your ideal client at this you'll at the end of this you're going to have three workable target markets at the end of this one you're going to have uh a one little niche experiment that you can do to try something out. At the end of this, you're gonna, you know, uh, have figured out a hundred hubs for your business. So that every single course has a very specific measurable uh, outcome at the end where you can then still go through the content and, and deepen, you know, if you're drawn to my understanding of marketing, you can deepen your, your understanding as you're achieving very measurable outcomes in your, in your business. So that I'm very excited about. And, and the thing on the personal nerdy level I'm most excited about is I get to keep tinkering with it. I'm sure within a year, all of those courses will be fine tuned. People give feedback, I'll have new ideas. I'll be coming up with new uh, videos and blog posts that I can then weave into these things in the appropriate place so that it's all there in one place. And there'll probably be more and more courses that get added. You know, One of the ones I'm gonna probably add 
some point in January will be one just specifically about filtering. I've got so many thoughts about how do we filter as a business. So yeah, at the end of that course, you'll have a series of filters to make sure that the only people who come to you are your ideal clients or one about uh, word of mouth marketing or one about, one I've been thinking about is this idea of like, because I talk about all the time, but our, our deepest wounds are a doorway to our truest niche. And I literally wrote an ebook about it that's just in too rough shape to publish at this point. But the contents there, and I may be able to do something with it in the in the program for members and turn that actually into a course where we walk people through some of the steps and the philosophy of that. So anyways, I'm just, I'm, I'm amped about that to be able to put it all together. So just for people who are, uh, yeah, drawn to a way of marketing that feels good, uh, but is also effective, you know, uh, this is this is one uh, option as, as a way to do it. And oh, the other plus, I say that people may get from this is it's not on Facebook. And so people will get to be a part of something without the distractions, the constant notifications of Facebook, where the notifications have nothing to do with your business well-being at all. Um, so that I'm also very excited about. And for lots of, there's lots of reasons for us all to spend. Yeah, on Facebook. yeah. I, I want to show, um, uh, well, I, I, I don't know. If, well, let me at least show people the, sort of description page of, of the program uh, on the screens, just so that everyone can kind of see what this is. Um, first of all, as of right now, when we're recording this in, in middle of uh, November, there is still an opportunity. I know some of the people are going to be watching this months later, but um, you all can still be part of part of the founding member um, circle of, of this, which means it's basically a one time, as far as I understand, it's a one time payment and they get lifetime access. Am I right to that? Or uh, yeah, this is Bradley Morris of Magic Media. He's been a big support for me, and he was recommending this. Uh, so basically, normally, what'll be happening from let's say mid February of 2021 onwards, it'll be 25 bucks a month for a, a low level, and then 100 bucks a month for the the pro level, uh, sort of a foundational and a pro level, but. For now, if people want to sign up as a founding member just to populate the thing uh, and help give it a you know a nice a nice start, it's three hundred dollars for the uh, foundations level and a thousand dollars for the pro level, which means you pay once, you never pay anything again, and there's yeah. different things you get at different levels. Totally. Uh, and and just to, just to be clear, I mean this that's a so usually it's I mean you know when when it becomes a monthly thing, it's going to be twenty five dollars a month. That's three hundred dollars a year for the basic level, and yeah. you know, of course, as you keep on adding um, helpful content and you know connections and all that stuff to the community, uh, people will probably want to stay year after year. So that's three hundred dollars first year, six hundred second year, nine hundred, and it's like founding member means you get you do it once and you could stay for the next 10, 30 years. <laughs> 50 years, however long you live, um, however long Tad, Tad's around, uh, stay healthy, Tad. Um, and the foundation and the, and the sort of, so, so the, found, the basic level is, uh, the, here we go, foundations, okay? And then the pro level. So uh, the basic level, basically, it's like, you know, they get an office hour call, group call with you, um, which I feel like every time I've been on a group call with you, just watching how you help somebody else is helpful for me as well. So I feel like just kind of being a witness to that on the office call is going to be helpful for other people, who, even if you're not the one in the so-called hot seat. Um, you know, people get your, your four mini courses, and I'm sure you're going to be keeping adding to this, right, as you go. Um, yeah. It's really cool. I, I really love that you, you described how there's like an actionable thing that people get at the end of each course. So that's really cool. Like they, they're, they're clarifying their target audience. They're, ter they're, they're clarifying uh, how they're going to reach out. They're clarifying exactly uh, what experiment they're going to do to reach out, et cetera, et cetera. Um, anything else you want to say about the basic versus the um, you know, eBooks and of course uh, access to the entire access to the community, which is where I think a lot of the magic happens. You want to talk about that, by the way? I feel like the community, it's going to be off of Facebook. It's going to be on Mighty Networks, right? Yeah, I mean, I've never done it before, so I don't know. Okay. <laughs> no, I mean, you, you, you've, you've done a lot of men mentorship. I mean, you've, done, you've run your mentorship program for years. Uh, so, I mean, obviously, you, you, you've done, I, I, I mean, I've, I've looked at it. I've looked into it myself. 
so I feel like you're you're good at creating that community and people. So, but but what do you imagine? Like, what what are you looking forward to seeing the community be? Well, there's a few things that excite me about it. One is uh, we'll be hiring uh, one, one community manager to start. We, there may be more, cool. just so that you're never stuck. Oh, where can I find this thing? That hopefully very quickly you'll be able to get answers to your questions. I'll be spending 30 minutes a day in it. Uh, just checking in and and a lot of these things I've already done videos for I've already done blog posts for and so to me I'm it's I, I think it'll be not so difficult for people to get answers to the questions that they have and and have that be directed to them uh, directly and then second is there may be some a chance for geographic connections people who live in the same areas you know ways to help them connect with each other but also similar types of niches uh, right but yeah, there's lots of things I'm, I'm thinking that we might do. And uh, yeah, and then there's going to be a yeah, month for the foundations level. There's a monthly Zoom call, group call, and then yeah, the weekly for the for the pro level. And oh, yeah, for people who are joining, you know, if you're watching this uh, before December 14th, just one of the reasons to, to get in early is I'm, uh, well, for people who are doing the, the founding member thing, I'm keeping it closed to only the people who are founding members until mid-February. So you'll have probably about six weeks of only that. And then I'll open it up to monthly subscriptions uh, after that. I just want us to have a chance to get to know each other. Um, but yeah, I think there'll be a lot of, and there's some heavy hitters who are joining. I was surprised a colleague of mine, uh, PJ uh, uh, Van Hole, uh, I think she got married, so maybe her name changed. Right? Was, PJ just joined, which was uh, I was very surprised by it. So I think there'll be going to be some real fine folks in there, and I'm just excited. It's it's uh, one of my favorite things as I would tour my workshops. Uh, you know, I chat with people at the breaks, or sometimes we go for lunch or dinner, and there, I could just feel how the room was full of such good people, and I always wanted to get to know them better. It was, it was that was one of the the heartbreaks of touring. You meet somebody, you chat with them for five minutes, and you think, man, we'd be best friends. If we lived in the same community and then and then you got to move on and and maybe you never see them again or or so this is a chance for people who've maybe been following me for a while or curious about this for us to stay a little more connected and yes i would agree that these group calls just because a lot of people almost everyone who will be in this will be a service provider of some type i would say 90 percent there'll probably be some crafters and i'd, I'd be so happy to have them but mostly it'd be service providers so it's the same stuff so, you know, the question that one person has is almost certainly relevant to everyone else on the call, uh, is my experience. So in answering one question, uh, questions for a lot of people are answered. And plus, as, as we get to deepen in this, you know, as people go through the courses and kind of check them off and get these things, there's a foundation that gets built. And then we just get to keep refining and honing. And I'm excited, yeah, you know, a few years from now there's a solid community of the people who've stuck around, the people who are still involved, helping each other, really knowing each other's businesses. And I, I do imagine from that, there will be collaborations that come. People will be hubs for each other, can promote each other's work. Uh, so. Yeah, I mean, that's one of the core parts of uh, what you teach. Uh, and I think that's, the, that's what your community has been sort of educated on. It's, it's, you know, a point of view that they agree with that, the way, one of the best way, I mean, one of my favorite ways to, to grow a business is to, you know, we talk about hubs. Just for those who, who don't know what TAD means by hubs, it's basically other people, uh, other individuals, other businesses that have an audience. They, they serve as like, well, a hub to other people and organizations that you would love to reach. And I love that idea that you, you make it so simple, hub marketing. So, yeah, I think I since you know from day one, I'm sure people who come in have that collaborative, you know, ethos to them, and will you know I'm sure you're gonna help help people to to form that. Um, so, okay, so a couple of things I think I, I, I what I love uh, that you know that this community is gonna be about is that one, you know, your well <laughs> point of view. It's like everything I, I say. It's like oh, that Tad already coined that. <laughs> it's like. Your point of view on marketing is so strong that I think the people who come into the community, if they don't know you super well, once they consume some of the courses and eBooks, 
they're going to be like, oh, wow, that, that makes a lot of sense. I mean, I essentially am a Tad Hargrave disciple. It's just that I've, I've you know, changed the phrases a few times, you know, <laughs> a few times and try to figure out what, how I want to call it. But essentially, we, we talk about the same thing. You know, it's like you don't want everyone in the world, you know, you're, you're not trying to reach everyone in the world because one, that's exhausting. And two, it's where a lot of failure uh, comes from because a lot of the people you reach uh, aren't meant for you, uh, aren't, will be terrible clients because they're just, they don't want your thing or they, they don't agree with you on some of the values or whatever. So we, we just, if we, you know, Tad, I mean, you've got this whole point of view ebook and you've all so many videos about it. It's like, if we, if we clarified what it is that we want to take a stand for, yeah. then it becomes, do you want, do you want to talk, talk about that for just a few minutes? Cause sure. I feel like that's so important and everyone's going to be really trained on that in the, in the program. Well, yeah, because so obviously the, the very first thing we need to talk about is, is the niche is just, okay. yeah. Yeah. Let's start, start, start. who you're trying to reach. Uh, and the very specific honed thing here is there's a, well, when we say who we're trying to reach, well, there's the qualities of the people, there's the demographics and there's the psychographics, the worldviews, but the bullseye is what's the issue? What's the pain? What's the problem? What's the thing they're craving the result? That's the, what's the issue? That's the, the, the main thing. And what I'm saying, and I've been saying for years, is that the heart of marketing is, for, well, it's, it's uh, this guy, Jeff Davies, coined this 3P. I don't know if I should share this with you. It's so good. I do, I've talked about relevance, credibility, and value, but his is so much better. It's a problem, premise, promise. And the, uh, so for, you've got to start with a problem. If there's no, pro, you know, why they need you, you know, great. You, you have this modality. It's, it's real great. Cool. But why do they need you? Then there's the premise. And the premise is your idea about how to best solve the problem. It's your philosophy, your perspective, your understanding, your cosmology, your model, your approach, your, your protocols, your point of view, basically. So that's what I call point of view marketing. And so what I would assert is that before people are ready to take you up on your promise, on your offer, on this value that you are bringing, they need to be sold on that premise you're not making the case for them to hire you. You're making the case for a certain point of view on something. You're saying, look, you're on Island A, but you want to be on Island B. You're stuck here. You want to be here. Well, here's my approach. This is how I would make that journey. And then if people like it, they buy from you. If they don't like it, they don't. And it, it's people, it's funny in my mentorship call the other day, somebody, she was talking about how, well, how do I make the pitch at the end of the thing? And I said, Look, there, there's stuff to say there. There, there are there's ways to do it well and poorly and ways to screw it up, but it's not such a big deal. People put way too much emphasis on doing this perfectly smooth pitch. I said, but I would rather, you know, if it's like a bell curve, you know, down here, the problem, it's not that big, actually. You just got to name it. You don't have to spend years or pages in a sales that are sticking the knife in and twisting. It's just a little thing. Are you struggling with this? Great then most of the presentation or the sales letter is the point of view. And then at the end, it's the pitch. It's just that these are so small in terms of the amount of time uh, they take, whereas the, the point of view is so big. So yeah, in the, there will be, that's one of the other ones that's coming out. I will be adding as a course, it's not there yet, is a point of view. That's awesome. Yeah, course. really good. A, do a 30 day program once a year, which if you do, if you sign up for the foundations level, all my 30 day programs, you get half off. And then cool. at the, uh, if the, the pro level, it's all free. Wow. So at okay. the pro level, basically all my 30 day programs, all my eBooks, the, all the courses, all my $25 teleseminar, just, just, you, you get it all for free. It's all included. In that. Yeah. So it's free. And but right now, cool. again, lifetime access means that because you're going to be creating these things for, for years to come. Oh man, so. <laughs> it's only going to get better. And you know, Bradley, one of the things he said, and the reason this probably sold me more than anything on the founding members, I was, cause I was torn. He talked about it. I said, but why not just have the recurring revenue that from a business standpoint, $25? He said, because it's good to start it with a core group. Because if they're willing to sign up for the lifetime membership, it probably means they already like you. It probably means they already have some alignment with what you're up to, um, whether a lot of time in or they've just discovered you, but they're, they're, they're kind of in and it's nice to, it's like the sourdough starter, you know, it's nice to have that to begin. And that made a lot of sense to me to begin the community. And that's also why I wanted to from December 15th to sometime in 
mid-February, it's just going to be us. There's not going to be anyone else except the lifetime members, just so I can actually get to know people a little bit. And you can all get to know each other and start, you know, because I know when the monthly people come in, understandably and properly so, they'll be more tire kickers. They'll be more, well, I'll sign up for the monthly because let's see, uh, and as it should be. Uh, but the people who are signing up, it's good for them to know who each other are, uh, of, of who's more likely to stick around, which I think is probably more true for lifetime members. So, so I'm excited to, to uh, have that beginning. And, and I've been seeing some, it's funny, some people are signing up, I can see and you get the notifications. Some of them, I have no idea who the hell they are or why they trust me with their money. I'm glad, but I don't know, I don't get it. And others, of course, these are names I've seen, you know, people have been in programs for years. So the thought of not just doing a 30 day thing with them, but doing a, you know, a multiple years thing is, is really exciting for me. Yeah, yeah, this is, this is really good. Um, well, the time has already flown by. I, uh, you know, we, we barely dipped into the various kind of areas um, that you're gonna be working with members on. Um, Let's see, I, I would say if there are any questions, obviously, if you have any questions at all about this, please go ahead and comment below. Um, this video is being broadcast to both uh, my page as well as the Marketing for Hippies Facebook page. So, um, you know, if you do it on the questions on the Marketing for Hippies Facebook page, obviously, Tad's going to see that first. If you do it on my page, I'll make sure Tad knows about it. But um, basically, the bottom line is like if you have uh, heard about Tad from me, uh, or just, you know, you discovered, you discovered him elsewhere. If you like his content, this is the place that you're going to be able to connect with others who are being trained on this kind of stuff, point of view marketing, hub marketing, the fact that we are filtering for our true fans, ideal clients, instead of just trying to market, you know, blast to everybody in the world. Like if you want to, and of course, you know, people with, with, um, hippie type value. So people who are really trying to create um, a generative, regenerative type of business, you know, help help the world with whatever they're doing. So you'll be among great people. Um, take a look at the, uh, the link um, associated with this video, wherever above or below, and read, read the thing for yourself. And, um, you know, maybe you'll, you'll decide to, to, to join while it's during the lifetime, or if you watch later, I'm sure it'll still be a great deal and whatever other benefits there will be on the page. Tad, anything else? Um, just a couple of things. Yeah, the link, if you want to check it out, marketingforhippies.com slash membership. Um, that's where you can go to learn more about it. all the particular details are there to see if it's a fit. Um, and George, thank you just so much for making the time. You know, George also does amazing work you know, it's a George Kao, K A O. Dot yeah, well, this, and, but, it's a, this is about the membership, about, <laughs> but thank you, you know, I appreciate you it. Know he's got he's got good stuff because look at the look at the shirt he's wearing. It's we, we you know we over. didn't we didn't talk about this, and I that's what I mean. Like Tad and I, you know, we're 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 connected, and so we showed up. We're like, what? <laughs> no. I'll just say this: that the um, Tolkien in Lord of the Rings, there's a scene where I think it's Boromir says that he says the praise of the praiseworthy is beyond all rewards. And that's how I feel when you, when you speak so, so kindly of, of me, George. So thank you. Oh man. Thank you. Thank you. And, and same here. Um, well, folks, you know, that's, that's what I hope you'll do is check out the membership. Um, Tad is hoping to build this into a community. That's really um, kind of a central place where you're going to find kindred spirits, find collaborators, of course, get the marketing perspective that was going to help you to really relax in, in some ways into, ah, I can do this in a simple and really heart-based way um, and grow my business. And you'll, you'll see lots of success stories and what's working for people in the group too. So lots of resource sharing, et cetera. So anyway, Tad, thank you so much for creating this. I'm excited to hear from people who are getting a lot of benefit from it. And um, yeah. I'm sure we'll continue to collaborate. Thank you so much. Okay.